good morning students in the midst of pandemics we are not going to attend school so i'll be delivering lectures to you and you will be starting through that today we are going to learn what is a programming language and basically we are going to focus on java so let's see what are we going to learn today what is a programming language why do we need a programming language and why there are so many programming languages a programming language is basically a special language that programmers use to develop software programs scripts or other set of instructions for computers to execute these languages allow us to give instructions to a computer in a language the computer understands and the computer which the computer the language which computer understands is your binary language basically it provides us with a set of rules that that is a way of telling a computer what operations to perform the description of a programming language is usually split into two components that is its syntax and semantics syntax can be defined as the grammatical rules that a language has for example you have an english language in english language we start with basic rules of grammar then we learn the punctuations also in the same way we have punctuations and grammatical rules for your other computer languages also the portion of the language that a computer can understand is called a binary translating from programming language into binary is known as compiling so let's see why do we need a programming language these languages allow computers to quickly and efficiently process large and complex amounts of information we need them because computers can't understand english and humans can't easily write machine code so we need to have a language that is a uh, source between the human and the machine code so that language is be is considered as a programming language by which we can communicate with the computer why there are so many programming language as one language in the world cannot serve all the purposes so does a computer language so we need to have different programming languages in order to make the computer understand what we require and the computer uh, gives us a result in our own language so we can say that a programming language is a set of written symbols that instructs the computer hardware to perform specific tasks it also consists of a vocabulary or vocabulary or a set of rules that the programmer must learn now let's move on to java java is a third generation programming language originally developed by james goldling as sun at sun microsystems java can be used to create applications that can run on a standalone machine as well as a network now what is a stand alone machine stand alone machine is any pc which you are working on which is independent and network is a group of computers which are connected together java is also used to build small application modules which can be embedded in the web pages such modules make it easy for the function for the user to interact with web pages basically modules are small functions which we create in java or let's say a small bits and pieces of work which a, a particular thing is going to perform for example when we are in a school it's not the entire school is run by the teachers or the entire school is run by the administration each person has a specific task to perform in the same way we have each module that is a function which has a specific task to perform Java applications are usually platform independent which means that Java applications can run on any platform now let's see what does the term platform mean the term platform refers to a combination of hardware configuration and system software that is your operating system basically the platform by platform we means the types of operating systems we are working on for example windows linux uh other uh, uh, apple macintosh these are all different ios systems this is, these are all different platforms that we are working on so we can say that java applications can be used with almost any combination the most example uh, common example is the case of mobile application most applications and games that we download for mobile phones are programmed in java 
though we have different combinations of hardware and operating system yet we can run these applications for example we run an application for an ios also and for a uh, android phone also the same application is available in a different form for both of them so it can have we can work with different combinations of hardware and operating systems and yet we can run those applications every java program is compiled into byte code that is your dot class file which is very similar to a machine code this byte code is interpreted at the platform level on which the application is to be executed by the jvm for example you might have seen students that when you access the web at times it asks you to download java it is actually you are not downloading java you are installing java onto your machine virtually so that means with that virtual installation your computer has has already installed a jvm and it is actually virtual has become a virtual machine and now that java program which you have downloaded onto your computer will run efficiently this byte code is a platform independent code because it can be run on pl multiple platforms that is your write once and run anywhere that means you are writing a program of java and then you are compiling it into a byte code and then when this byte code is uploaded onto the web the different platform that is your windows linux mac through your jvm or through your interpreter which is the jvm only as shown in this figure interpreter the java byte code is interpreted into the windows machine then into a mac then into a linux as we have seen in this figure so it actually converts it into a executable form and then we can run it onto our different platforms that is your windows unix linux mac etc so let's see what is a java interpreter it is a little different from other interpreters java compiler produces byte code not the machine code and that machine code can be run on any computer with the java interpreter installed on it that means your jvm installed on it so let's see how the java program runs first of all you write the source code that is your dot java file it converts it into a byte code by using the java compiler then this byte code is uploaded onto the web and can run on any executable machine through the runtime environment that is your jvm and then you can get the output so we can say that java provide excellent features that makes it a complete programming language in all aspects there are many features of java like your rob, uh, java is robust portable platform independent secure but we can say that java provides more of security and is platform independent because of which many applications are able to use java programming language students thank you for today's lecture and i would expect you to do the worksheet based on this thank you and stay home stay safe